Hi there. I don't know how you guys feel, but I've had a gutful of the load shedding and I've decided I need to do something about it. So doing something about it means finding a cost-effective solution that allows me to have some sort of life while Eskim is determined to keep the power off. In the previous video, I gave you an outline of how I came to choose the power backup that I did choose. And here you can see it's arriving. I ordered it from Macro. It was delivered uh, as Macro does in a very efficient manner. And I have subsequently had a look at it and started using it. And so far, I'm happy. But let's see more. The Jenki GK1000 portable power station. Let's have a look and see what's in the box. There we go. Little booklet. Looks like the actual device. Sure enough, that's him. And then in here, see we have. Guessing are the leads. Let's have a look. It's going to empty them out into the box. So we have mains plug, which I guess is for charging purposes. We have a Cigarette lighter lead, which I guess is for charging from the car. And we have, uh, this looks like a step down box to, for the charging. It says it gives out 20 volts, 5 amps, which is what the charging voltage is for this device. Here's a look at the device. I'm going to spin it around on my dining room table. In the front, you can see there's the input and output ports, which I'll come back to in a moment. Fan on the right-hand side. The back's got a label with some details, which again I'll come to in a moment. On the left side, also a fan. Um, and we're back to the front. If you have a look at the top, you can see that there's a stiff handle, which works well easily holds the weight, feels very solid and nice, nicely constructed. And there's a, a wireless charging point for your wireless charging devices. I must say the product feels sturdy and strong. Uh, my wife was pleasantly surprised at the quality and the look of the device compared to similar devices that some of our friends have. Uh, and she felt that it was it was not too obtrusive in our lounge. Okay, so here we go for a bit of a closer look. You can see that there are a number of ports on the front. Let me go through them individually, starting off with from the from the, the back end, if you like. These are the two uh, output sockets with a switch at the top here that allow you to draw. Uh, 220 volts uh, 50 cycle AC it they seem to work pretty well the switch I find is a bit strange because it one click puts it on I think you have to do two clicks and you have the peep to get an output uh, voltage you'll see here now on the display that it's showing you 100% battery available 50 Hertz being delivered and zero watts being drawn um, and the AC is on. Okay, if I put it off, the AC is off, still 100% charged. 
Below the uh, display, there's a section for USB, also with its own switch here, where you can see puts the USB um, emblem on the on the screen. There are two at the very top. There are two USB-C ports, one that's in and out, and the other that's out. The the one that'll go in or out, uh, it says will take 100 watts. Uh, the out only 27 watts. And then there are four uh, standard USB, old-fashioned USB ports uh, with 5 volts, which I think should prov provide sufficient for most people's USB type of uh, charging. On the left here, there's an output, two output, the standard uh, DC power plugs with that um, kind of inverted pin uh, which you can you can take 12 volts from and there's the the i think input and output can go through this car jack cigarette lighter jack again switch available for that and you'll see that when it's on that it gives an indication of the dsc output plug is on okay and then above that is the area for the input charging input which i've used the top one which is the one that they give you the power block for that's also a standard dc uh, plug 20 volt 24 volts uh, 5 amps and there are two uh, of those uh, slip-on clips uh, they're difficult to to see exactly how how they fit here but it's a uh, the standard kind of crimp clips that you get on wires and there's obviously red for positive and black for negative the idea there is it's from a solar panel if i read the the documentation they indicate that you can charge from both solar and mains at the same time and it will charge the device uh, using both sources and in fact double up on the charging and half the time I haven't been able to check that because I don't have solar panels available. On the back of the device is a label which gives a bit of detail around the various input and output ports. It seems to differ slightly from some of the adverts. I would take this more seriously. This brings me to the end of this video and it's the second of three. The third one I'll deal with the experience and my view of the device as a whole. See you then.